What's up and welcome to a new video where today we're going to be starting episode 1 on Farming Simulator 17. So as you all know this game's only been out um, a couple of days now. Before we get started I'd like to say a massive thank you to everyone that has put positive feedback on my tutorial on how to set up the Logitech G27 with this game. Uh, we are starting a brand new profile today. As you can see nothing has literally been done. Nothing at all. Start a brand new profile what we are going to do is first of all we're going to harvest this field ourselves well do a bit of it ourselves but it, meanwhile what we're going to do is head over to here we're going to is that attached no we're going to attach that we're going to hire a worker to um plow that field and then does this need seed yeah this needs seeding so let's attach that by pressing q and we're gonna what should we plant i think we're gonna go yeah let's just do yeah let's just do wheat for that we're gonna hire another worker to do our field 12. so we're gonna concentrate on field 15 here oh let me just attach our trailer then i'm gonna explain a few little things to you so first of all what I want to explain is I'll bring up the map and you can see at the moment we own field 14, 15 and 12. As you can see 15 is ready to harvest. But before we get any further I'm going to make a few little changes to here. So what I'm going to do is, where is it? There is plant withering, I'm going to turn that off. There is a reason why I turn that off because I'm doing this obviously single player. There's a lot of fields and it's going to be impossible to harvest all them fields without them all dying. So yeah, it could be a bit of a challenge. I don't know why that just said has finished. Well, how is it finished? Is hang on, is this tripping us out or what? There is no way that he is. <laughs> it said that he was finished his job already. No, he hasn't. Yeah, right. Let's just see how that goes. So we start off with um, well, we've got nineteen thousand now. So we do need to try and get our money up. So we're going to hop into the combine. We're going to attach the header. Then we're going to open up the combine. Do this like so. And let's get going. Let's start harvesting this field. It's pretty cool. I am really impressed with this game. Obviously, I have got I have got another account that um, I have been playing on, just to get the feel of the game, get a rough idea of what you have to do and stuff like that, just to make it a bit more easier for me. Because obviously, I'm quite new to farming sim, so uh, a lot has changed from 2015 to 17. So yeah, I'm quite new, so we all got to learn, and hopefully, you'll learn stuff and I'll learn stuff throughout this whole series. Oh, it still does that. I hate that. We should really just stop. Actually, I'm going to turn that off. Turn that bit off because I hate it when it basically all just sprays out of the back. Which makes it so annoying. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hire the worker for this. Just let a worker do this. I know it's spending our money. But I'm going to head over to the um, silo bits over here. I'm going to see what we can sell. So if we just head on to our map. If we are getting a few little lag parts in the video, I really do apologise. I don't understand why it's doing that. My FPS is fine. Um, the whole recording bit seems fine my computer can easily handle it so I don't really understand why it's lagging so I do apologize if you're getting lag spikes within this video so what we've got here canola is going up 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 oh sunflower that's quite cool uh I'm gonna take the sunflowers to the bakery bit are we gonna yeah we're gonna take sunflowers to the bakery bit so if we go over to sunflower Fill our trailer up. 
four thousand over four thousand liters. We're gonna go back onto our map. What is there? We're gonna place a tag onto the map just so we don't get lost. Yeah, I really don't understand why we're getting all these jumpy lag spikes for because my FPS is on sixty, so <laughs> I don't understand why it's doing it. So if you've got a solution, then please let me know. My computer's got enough RAM, it's got enough, it's got a decent graphics card, it's got the whole lot. So I don't understand why it's doing it. But we'll just have to deal with it within this video. So we're heading to the bakery bit now where we're going to sell our uh, sunflower that we picked up. Right, okay, so we've pulled up to the bakery bit. This is quite a cool little drop off point. So we've got to turn into this. And we've got to go up this little hill bit, like a little bridge bit. And empty out our load. So we're going to press N to uncover it. We're also just going to untip it as well. Let's see how much money we get from that. So we've got £4,778 harvest income. So we're just going to head back to our farm now to see what other, basically to see what other crops we can sell to get some money. So for any of you that have got this game then let me know in the comments below if uh, what computer you've got and how system and what you're running it at because I'm on 60 FPS but from when I record I still get a little bit of lag bite. I don't really understand why I'm getting that. It's just a little bit frustrating if you ask me. It does get a little bit frustrating. So we're just going to pull up here. Oh, I think I've taken the wrong turn in. I'm still learning this map. Oh, God, yeah, I've gone way past start. Whoops, I've missed our turn in. Uh, our combine's going to need emptying in a minute, I think. So we are going to have to, we're going to have to do some off-roading in the tractor, that's alright, that's what they're designed for. Tractors are so designed to go off-road. I love how they've improved the sound effects on this game, they do sound pretty cool. Just drive alongside our combine. So it's literally just filling up with wheat at the moment. But if you empty it now, then it should have enough to take the whole lot of the rest of it without us needing so we can just carry on concentrating just dropping it straight off down to selling it that's what we need to at the moment we need money 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 we are going to end up having to do a few contracted jobs oh god please don't put it in front of me combine that is the worst thing you could possibly thought of done let's just pull down there Alright, so I wonder what sort of price wheat is going at. What I want to do is head down near field 19, I think it is. There's a small contracting job there. It's quite small and you get a good, well, you get a couple of grand for doing it. It's kind of nice. So what's near field 19? So it's that one, the golden crisp thing. Uh, it's not that great. Oh, but that's doing quite well there. I think what we're going to do is drop this off and then take some peas or something, whatever that is. Yeah, I think we'll do that. So let's unload our load into this one. Put this into our silo and we'll sell it at a later date. Then we're going to head over and fill our trailer back up oh here we go silos du -du -du. it's just going on about all the silos it will give you this information going along that's kind of good for people that have never played farming sim at all oh, what we're going to do we're going to press R soil beans there we go we're going to fill this up 
nice and cool. We're going to go press escape. We're going to go back to our map. Because this obviously is the brand new map within Farming 17, I'm still obviously learning the ins and outs. Obviously with 15, you get I learned the map straight away and I sort of knew how to get to everywhere. But I'm still learning because this has got a lot more detail on it. But I do like how you can click there, click tag, and it will tag the place. So you kind of just follow the flashing light. It's kind of cool. So yeah, before I get anyone asked, um, if you do want to see in future videos the Logitech G27 camera, then let me know. I'll try and sort that out and add that in the videos if you really wanted to see that. But just let us know, guys. So we're just going to go and sell this. So we're just going to drive up here. It's not too far of a drive, this one. So for you that don't know, on this game is uh, to get to this one you actually have to cut down the side of the field which kind of makes it a bit more realistic, do a bit of off-roading to get to this one. But if I was you, if it's your own field, try and avoid cutting through it because it does wither your crops a little bit. So try not to, uh, you know, try not to go over your fields if they are your own fields. Anyone else is don't worry about them. <laughs> So this one's a cool little drop off point as well, so we go up this bank bit. We're going to uncover it, Let's pull forward a little bit more because it tips up backwards. Just like so. And let's see how much income we get from this. and sixty six euros income for that what was kind of cool so if you can see this field here oh it's field 9 not 19 my bad it's quite a thin field and I think there is a, a job where you can do a contract job and it gives you it's quite a small job to do and it gives you quite a bit of money so let's press E to jump out of our tractor well over to here and see what they've got. Hmm, hmm. Smell that? It smells like money, right? Well, it does. Just seeing how much we're getting. Fertilize the field for him. So we get five minutes to do it in. And it will give us, obviously, 2,198. If you do it in the time, you get time bonus as well. Let's do this. Let's see how it goes. So, what we want to do first is go over and add this weight. Uh, now we've just got to try and remember. Now I've just got to try and remember what the. Uh oh, good. I just figured out if you press that, it starts the radio. If you press 5, it starts the radio. It was quite funny. Like so. So I reckon this is going to have quite a high spreading. That's solid. Let's go. There you go, that's covering that quite nicely. So again, obviously this is not your own field. I'm sure later on in the game you can end up buying this for yourself, this field, but this is not our field at the moment. We're just doing this for, we're doing a contracted job, so doing this for someone else, and then they'll pay us for it. That's nice and cool. So I could have gone a bit wider. Might as well keep it like that so let's pull up here, let's stop the spray. Oh, missed a little bit there. We better go back because if you notice in your top right hand corner it has that green circle. Um that is how much you've completed of this sort of how much you've completed of this contract. And obviously you've got your time telling you how long you've got left. So you want to try and cover it all. You should be out, yeah, if we stay like this whole way we should cover the whole field in two runs what well, is really really nice because obviously it's our second run it's quite a nice small field so if you wanted just a small field like maybe to do like your wheat or something on the stuff that doesn't you know you don't get much money for then this would be the field for you 
So here we go. As you can see, the time is in red, so that means we run out of time, but we've completed it because basically your green circle, once that's full, you've completed it and it will automatically take you to this page. Thanks so much. It looks a bit dodgy. Reward is 2,198 and we get a 1,415 euro time bonus. What's kind of cool. So, do you know what I mean? Just for the sake of five minutes, that is a nice, easy way to get just that little bit extra money at such a you know such a short amount of time it's really really cool so for you that are a bit unsure if you uh, how to get that extra money because your fields obviously you've run out of stuff in your silo do contract jobs there are some that take absolute like a good hour or so if not longer but um, I'd really recommend it because it is a good way to make your money nice quick easy way to get that money in the bank Um, on my other account that I did when I was playing offline in this game, getting the hang of it, I done one job and it took me probably about an hour, like real time, to do. It was harvesting a field. It did get a bit tedious, but I did get like nearly 40 grand for doing it. So, oh, it's, well, it just says for itself, it is really worth doing, guys. It really, really is worth it. So what we're going to do now is just park over here. I just want to see how everything's doing. This is going to be quite a short episode. It's not going to be mega long. Um, but I just want to get the, get it rolling, you know, get it started. So this is, happily enough, doing its business. What's he doing? He's still working. And so is he. So they're all still working. What we're going to do is jump into this lizard pickup. This is a rapid bit of equipment. <laughs> This is where it's going to blink and lag, I can tell. But I've got 6 SPS, I don't understand why it's spazzing out like this. I really do apologise for anyone that's having this problem. Right, I've changed my mind what we're going to do. So you can get trains. They both have different lines. So if I show you the train line. So as you can see, for example, if you look more closely here, one line goes just around this bit past the uh, Maplefield Mill and the Saw Mill so they go one way and then you get the other line that goes a bit bigger and it goes that way and they are quite rapid trains they are really nice to use so for anyone that's obviously new to the game try out the trains because they are quite cool they're quite good fun and uh, it does bring a bit more realistic to uh, the game We're just going to empty this, put it into our, uh, we're going to put it into our silos and then after we've done that we're going to wrap up the video for part one and I'm going to try and sort out this frames and stuff and then I'll record the part two and hopefully it'll be in better quality. God. I thought you should have had enough in the uh, room in the combine for the rest of the field but I forget it's only a small one that you start off with so it's not going to hold too much just going to put it straight in our silo let's get going let's put this in our silo just like so we yep I <laughs> nearly lost it. There we go. So guys, thank you ever so much for tuning in to part one. If you did enjoy it, please ensure to give it a thumbs up and leave any comments down below that you want to add or any new things you know about the game that I might like to add into the episode. But like I say, please ensure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video.